Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 164, and we're going to do another easy one today. There is a function out there called date value, and that's what we're going to play with today. The idea of date value is if the date is stored as a date, date value is going to give you an error, but if the value is stored as text, date value is going to help you convert that text to a date so you can do uh, calculations on it. Some of the functions that I'm going to show you in the upcoming videos uh, require that Excel see this uh, May 15th as a date and not as text. Kind of like when we were looking at numbers before, if we spread this a long way out, you can see that this is stored as a date, and I've kind of highlighted it here so you can tell. If it's a date, Excel is generally going to write justify. If it's stored as text, Excel will generally left justify. But don't be thinking you can play with justification and get it to uh, switch. You need to uh, change the date from the uh, from text down here to a value up there. The way the date value function works is it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just put in the date value and then the cell you want to change. And it, what Excel does is it changes it to the number that Excel uses to store a date. And what 40,678 means, if we format this as, let's just do short date and make that a little bigger. Uh, that will convert it to a date and show the date is May 15th. If you try to do date value on something that is already a date, that's when you're going to get this error that says, hey, I can't convert it to a date. It already is a date. And again, in Excel 2000 all the way up to Excel 2003, uh, you had to use this date value thing to get this text to go to a date. Now if I had uh, another line here, if I had this one and I said, hey, it's text, I want to make it a date, if I had a bunch of them, I think it's easier to go to the data menu, text to columns, skip through the first two questions of the wizard, and then once you get there, say store it as a date. And there's some different month, day, year, day, month, year. By the way, I just do month, day, year, and finish, and it'll flip that for me. So if I've got a bunch of them, typically in Excel 2007 forward, I'm going to use text to columns. But I wanted to show you this kind of stuff in case you needed it in prior versions or in case you're trying to do a formula. One of the things you can do is you can do this formula here and it says if error date value C1 then say it's already stored as a date. So again what if error does it says if this function gives you an error print this otherwise give me date value. So what you can do is copy that down again I'm at 40,678 which if you remember if we format that as a date we're back. So you can use date value within functions to, to say, hey, if it's already a date, we can say something about that. Otherwise, we'll convert it to a date and keep going. It's important to have dates be stored as dates in Excel for some of the things we're going to do. And uh, next time, stay tuned. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out what day of the week dates are so that you can figure out, hey, if it's a Saturday, Sunday, I need to pay extra for call or something like that. Stay tuned. We'll talk about that next time.